So a few years ago, I watched this TED talk about multi-potentialites and I realized that I was one. It's someone who has multiple interests, multiple passions, and is good at multiple things. So for me, instead of choosing one career, I have multiple. In fact, I have at least two businesses as well as many, many clients. For me, managing multiple different things is really confusing and hard, but Notion is actually a great tool to allow me to manage all those things. So today I'm going to be walking you through how I do that by separating out my Notion accounts. I actually have five separate Notion accounts and I want to tell you guys specifically what I use each one for and how I organize every little thing in my life that otherwise without Notion I would be completely overwhelmed and not be able to do anything. So I hope that you guys check this out. I also have tons of resources down below, free resources, paid resources. Uh, check out my Notion Foundations All Access Bundle, which is where you get all the trainings on how to use Notion effectively. I'm going to be coming out with much more new content soon. I'm super excited. So hope you guys check that out, subscribe for more videos, and let's get to this video. So for this part of my Notion account, I use this specifically for my personal projects. So the first one that I have is my business projects, my clients, and my content calendar. So over here, you can see I have links to those and that's kind of where I do all of my personal setup. I also have my to-do list and that sort of thing, just again, for myself. And then I also have different things over here. So you can see I have pinned accounts that I have for things that I go to a lot, my favorites, my to-do database, and my workspace. So that's kind of the main thing that I use this account for, again, is just my personal stuff. It's stuff that I use for myself and it's stuff that I use in my life. So the next part that I use is my clients. So my clients area is actually really a great area where I actually work with multiple different things. I have my past clients, I have my future clients, I also have my resources for clients with my portals and portfolio. So for my clients, I actually have a couple of different client portals that I use for different people. So when I'm actually working with them one-on-one, -on -one, I have them inside of this Notion account. I separate this account out because again, I'm sharing multiple pages in this account and I also have guests inside of this profile. I can quickly remove or add people to this profile and so it's easy for me to know who has access at what time. So for example, if I sent out a proposal and maybe the proposal got signed, they don't need to see that proposal anymore. I can remove it from being live, but I also can keep it. So for, for example, I have a list of past proposals that I have as well as past client portals that I've used in the past for some of my clients. So for example, I have also proposals that are still active. So I keep those over here. Um, and you can see, again, I kind of sorted out. I have resources for clients. This is actually a example of a client portal. If I needed to duplicate that and make a new portal for some of my clients, again, you can see here, I have things like content and marketing, my onboarding documents, my projects, anything I'm doing for my clients, um, I would duplicate this and put that over here on the left-hand side. And then I would name it after the client. So that is exactly what I use this specific board for this specific account. You can see it's a separate account completely. This is not a separate workspace. This is a separate account for my clients. All right, so I've got my main profile. I've got my client's account. Again, these are separate accounts. You can still flip back and forth easily on Notion. The third account is my, my main business, which is Twin Cities Collective. So this is a little bit different because this is actually stuff that's live on the web. You can see it says this page is live here and you can see I have all of the different settings set up here for the domain. So this one is twin-cities-collective. So if somebody went to this exact site online, um, they would actually see it live with that domain. You can set up websites where it has a custom domain if you use different Notion website developing systems, but I personally just use the Notion ones because it's free. So you can see here, I actually have a business directory. This is actually live at directory. This is actually live at directory.twinstatescollective.com. And you can see here that I have a master list of a bunch of different businesses. It's searchable. You can filter it however you want. And I also have a bunch of other different directories. You can see here that I have different directories for the Twin Cities area. Like example, if I wanted to click on networking groups, this actually goes to a specific page that lists off a bunch of different networking groups that people can join. It's very, very helpful. This is actually free available to as a resource guide. 
for people that are on my website and live in the Twin Cities area. So I run a bunch of events and networking stuff with Twin Cities Collective, so I like to have resources. I also have my annual awards. So on here, I list off all of the winners and the runner-ups so people can go to this website and see who won and that sort of thing. And this is going to be live. I also have past years of winners. So again, if you click on past awards winners, I have it sorted by year. So for me, having all this available on Notion on a separate account where the domain is twin-cities-collective as a multi-potentialite who has multiple different businesses, this is super helpful so that this isn't just on my main Notion account. All right, so the last one that I have, so I've got my client's account, which is where I just work with clients. I've got my personal account where I work with my business and all the stuff that I'm planning, and I have a ton of videos on that. I also have a templates and freebies account. This is where I have the main like original databases for all of my templates. So for example, like my Notion resources guide, which you can get at uh, notion.genredfield.com forward slash resources, you can get this quick start guide. It walks through all a bunch of different stuff about Notion. This is actually part of this account. So you can see here, I have links to all of my different bundles, all of my different, so this is like my life tracker template. This is like the original one. So if I'm ever updating this template, it's within this account. It's in my templates and freebies account. I also have all of my free templates that I give out. Um, you know, for example, one of my free templates is my skincare routine template. You can get that on my website. All you have to do is go to uh, notion.jennaredfield.com forward slash skin and you get this. This also connects with the new Notion calendar, which is very exciting. I also have some other random pages that I share live on Notion, um, as well as I've got my free and paid accounts and my resources. So that is the main stuff that I use. I also have one uh, account that I use with one client where she has her own and I am a guest on there. And then the last part is I'm actually a Notion ambassador. So I'm part of that account as well. So that is kind of how I use Notion for multiple different businesses that I have, how I separate out my different accounts. Again, this account here, my main account, is what I use to really plan out all the projects that I have personally. I also do manage all of my contacts internally um, and none of these pages are shared to the public. All of them are internal. None of these are shared with the internet. So that's kind of how I separate it out. And that's kind of how I, as a multi-potentialite ADHD -er, sort of organize things because otherwise if they were all in one account, I think I would go insane. I originally had these all in one account and they're not anymore. So anyways, I hope that that's kind of helpful to show you guys a little bit parts of my life. I run again, multiple businesses locally. I do a lot of stuff around marketing and video. So I kind of manage which client to do list I have right now. I also run a ton of events and workshops. So if I'm planning events, I actually put them inside of this business projects area. Um, and so I'm still keeping that internal. So anyways, I hope that this is helpful. I have a ton more videos on all these topics. So if you just watch my channel, you can check them out and I'll talk to you guys next time.